Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know, I keep calling this free play, but it's actually quick play. I don't know why, sometimes, sometimes. So anyway, Oka Manor, which should be before Tidy Park, I think. It is time to play with the easiest settings first. And let's begin! Oh, spooky. So spooky, I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if anyone can handle it. But we have the giant holes, which means that we might, might stand the chance at being able to keep our composure. So I'm gonna aim to bounce it over the pumpkin like I did before and go for the hole in one, or not. <laughs> well, not this time at least, not this time. I guess I aimed a little bit too far left. I don't know, it sure should, didn't feel like it. And look, whirly putter for the win! Except I didn't even change my angle whatsoever. Yeah, that, I noticed that in the miscellaneous clubs, it's the whirly putter and not any of the regular putters. But eh, eh, doesn't really make much of a difference. As I haven't really been using the whirl to the uh, fullest extent, I think, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but I guess it's there if I need to do some trick shots if need be if need be that was a pretty good attempt but not good enough because I couldn't really get a good angle towards the hole but that was the whole point <laughs> because of the little water corner spike that pops in the middle because it doesn't give you much landing area so I just kind of put it over to the right and yeah it's good enough all right par five you're going down maybe <laughs> Uh, I guess bounce it over the bunker because I don't have a power shot to automatically power through it. At least I don't think it well, will. It make it? Yes, it will. Okay. I was gonna say yeah, power just like over on the fly, but in that case I'll just have to bounce it over for maximum safety. And now I can use the skimming woods here because I know what I'm actually aiming for. So fly ball, fly any anywhere that you land is okay. <laughs> doesn't really matter, just as long as it's closer to the hole than it would be otherwise. Mm, I mean, I suppose I do get that deep rough randomizer range too, but I don't know if it's really that scary compared to being at a distance when the whole location is so weird. So, <laughs> just, just seems like it's smarter to play up here, I don't know. Maybe I should have aimed more for the rough instead, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. No, wait, never mind. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out just fine. Not quite albatross fine, but or, or, or eagle fine, I mean, but uh, birdie fine. I'll take it. Cause yeah, that one is it's pretty long, and since my character stats aren't up to the main character stats, making it in three is good. Uh, you know, making it on in three, not making the shot in three. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, <laughs> because of the whole. Um, Less distance thing. I can't quite do it the way that I would with the with the, with the regular character, but I could still possibly chip it in from a distance because the giant holes and stuff. Who knows? All I know is I, I'm going for it on every shot just because I have the giant holes. <laughs> uh oh, I think that's gonna hit the tree. Uh oh, 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 oh! Because <laughs> I miss hit the impact zone. Yeah, and I went more to the left. Oh, it's putting me there. Why not back on the other side? Hmm. I probably shouldn't complain. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go for the slam dunk. Why not? <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like I'd be able to do that. Because I was close enough, the wind was pretty close to being in my face, and yeah, it just seemed like it wouldn't really affect things all that much. I was right. And. Oh, shoot. Big miss hit again. Oh, another tree. <laughs> oh, well. We could still chip it in. Because remember, we have the shovel and we know how to use it. And. Don't miss hit for one speaker game. <laughs> the last couple of shots are kind of iffy. <laughs> I don't know, it, didn't, it didn't stop like I thought it would. I can always putt. I'm not changing the distance, figuring yeah, fi figuring that I have the, the gino ginormous hole there to prevent the ball from hopping over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ideally, with that green shape, you'd want to be more like to that side, but... I don't know what I can do with my character stats, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play further up instead of the patch of fairway further back to the right that I showed you. So, and yeah, see how that turns out? Because yeah, I don't think I'd be able to make it in two otherwise. Uh, I'm gonna do some side curvature here to try and straighten it. Uh, I, th I think if I aim directly for it, it's gonna land in the bunker. I could put it there, but it's gonna go over. And there's no green slope because I turned that off, so I couldn't even hope for it to be pointing upwards in the curvature. Uh, I could try bouncing it off the pumpkin, which is probably going to go horrendously. <laughs> or I could just maybe play a safe shot instead over to here and hope that I one putt. Maybe? Hopefully? Let's see. Because I don't. I think this is just going to go over the green no matter what I do, based you know like on that distance. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Well, maybe if I played it, like, further back, even. Like, way over off to where that pumpkin is at the bottom portion of the green. And then aim for the rough and let it roll on the green. Then use the no slope of the green to get it in, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, five yard range. And, okay, it didn't affect it. <laughs> I'll take it. That's, that's just fine, because either way, if I was doing a long putt to the giant hole, or if I just make it that way, it's going to be an eagle, so maybe I just shouldn't overthink it. Just go for it. Just knock that sucker in. Just don't even <laughs> don't even think you did a bad shot, because that the giant hole can suck the ball in pretty quick. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, I'm going to try and straighten that again. And hope for the best that it goes in. Because the straighter shot seems to counteract the draw nicely ish. Now, I think the wind took it a little bit there because I didn't really move my cursor that much to the right anyway. Eh, yeah. It's a little birdie, but you know, I'm still going for every shot. <laughs> Just because it's fun to do so. And oh, this one! This one. This one. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope that it rolls out nicely and lands next to the hole ish. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. I mean, it's just so hard to get to that little patch of green when there's so many different textures around it that could make it unpredictable rollout and whatnot. Because you got green rough, green rough, how much of it is going to affect your roll? Who knows? Are you going to land it on the rough? Are you going to land it on the green? How much is it going to roll through? I don't know. <laughs> you can only just take a educated guess, I guess. Uh, um. Will that make it? If I... <laughs> do I dare try the big shortcut again? I think I do. <laughs> Boink. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it worked, but now I got a little patch of rough in between me and the hole. Can I? Uh, I could probably putt straight through that. I just gotta hit it hard enough. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! I cannot do that with the antique club, so I'm gonna actually have to play that hole uh, without taking the shortcut when I get to that with antiques in the harder version that I'm making up as I go. <laughs> Playing the two extremes of the difficulties of the, the quick plays. Okay. Beginner! Woo! Now this one, with the clubs and the difficulty of getting things to stop, this is gonna cause you to sweat a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking of changing my shirt right now. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Did you see that heavy slope bounce? I was expecting the slope to stop the ball, but it just ended up kicking it crazy. Okay, rudder all the way over there. Because remember, the super side slope of death is in effect. And that's decent. You know, I wonder about that. 
I, I was thinking about this off camera, you know, to stop the ball when I'm putting downhill to the hole, is maybe I should aim lateral to the hole, like just touch it, and then let the slope bring it down to the hole, maybe? If I have the opportunity to, like if it's not at a, like at an angle, cross angle, excuse me, to the green enough, I don't think I'll be able to do that, but in other situations, I may just be able to utilize that heavy slope. Anyway, I'm gonna try and... Oh, I thought that was gonna actually go across, but that's the spin actually stopped it. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna aim directly for... Like, anything dangerous anyway, but that's, that's not the result I was going for. I was just going for to get across the water. <laughs> like, you know, the, the puddle between me and the green right now. Well, now it's, now it's past. Now it's over to the upper right. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, it's a par. <laughs> Steady thus far? Which is pretty much all I can ask for when playing under such conditions. But yeah, we'll see how things turn out. It could, could go downhill pretty quick. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have to actually go down that away based on the rollout of my clubs, because there's a ton more fairway on that route. And, okay, the wind did not affect the ball that much again. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make this one in uh, uh, three shots, I mean, two shots anyway. Hmm. I don't... I don't want to play it way back here. That just seems dumb. Because <laughs> if I... If I play it back there, I feel like I'm going to end up having to hit to the, one of these islands anyway. And then it just won't work out because of the whole... Uh, it, it would be two shots anyway, basically, whether I go in the water or not. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, fairway, nice. That's even better. <laughs> so I took all that I could, and it seemed to have worked out. Oh... Uh... This one, no, I don't know. And even that slope is... Well, that, that slope actually may help a little bit, but it's not crossing the wind in a favorable way. It's, let's, oh, it's a pinball! <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that had nothing to do with the green slope. <laughs> it's just a total misplay. Figured the wind wouldn't have affected as much like the other shot, but oh no, it decides, eh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna mess with you now just because. Alright, Rudder, you better stop, because I'm hitting through two trees. Okay, fine. <laughs> I should be able to put that. And way off to the side to anticipate the side, yes. Okay. I'll do. That'll do. <laughs> it, it, as awkward as I was, that will do, as I'm still steady. Oh, this one. This one actually might be virtually impossible for me to get a birdie on. Uh, with the Well, unless I chip it in, but, uh, but I mean like regular, <laughs> normal play with the vintage clubs. And, oh, poopers. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even utilize the cart path to get over to the fairway. Because I nicked the tree. Uh, can I even get over? Help! <laughs> I need to find the gap. Help! Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. What's what's that? That looks promising. But the thing about that now is I gotta anticipate not hitting that front tree. Because otherwise it's just gonna bounce back out. Well, I hit that tree. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now I, I definitely can't make it, but I, I tried for the fairway. And that should that should make it to the fairway this time. Just it, I was going to say because all it's going through is leaves, but apparently it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> At least I can make, the, make it to the green now. So we are golden. Actually, no, that's a... I keep changing the... The hit point mode, like I need to get get under it more for backspin, but no, we're good. Heavy slope, stop please, okay. It's like it's okay with, with approach shots, it'll stop when we're putting, it's a whole other story. It's just, that sucker will not stop. <laughs> eh, bogey for all that is not bad. I mean, I kept trying to get myself into birdie or power range, but nah, nah, just wasn't letting me. <laughs> 
I mean, I guess maybe I could have played that a bit safer by just hitting off to the rough uh, on my second shot to the right and then to the fairway and then onto the green, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> and yes, that, that was the slope that caused that much bounce on the landing, but... Mm, not that big of a deal. I didn't really have much of a shot at that anyway, based on the low trajectory. And, uh, stuff and stuff. Wait, why did that... That shouldn't have kicked it that way. It should have kicked it more to the right, I would have thought. Well, anyway. <laughs> I'm going for the putts. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, so one, one over. With the hardest conditions known to man. So it's doing pretty decently. <laughs> uh, hmm. Like, yeah, like, even people on the Pro pro Tour on TV that you see, and if, if the course conditions are very hard, they may not shoot on their par for the whole tournament. <laughs> like, they might end up uh, over par for the total of four rounds, just because of the conditions. So, as I said before, over par could very well be a good score, it all depends. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, this is actually a good situation. The slope is directly with me, and I'll be putting to the hole. And since I'm off the green, the pin will be stuck in the hole, because they're playing on older golf rules. So that means the pin should stop the ball from flying off the green with the heavy slope. I think. Mm, yeah! <laughs> Maybe that's what I should be doing. I shouldn't be aiming to land it on the green. I should be aiming to land it just off the green, but close to the hole, so the pin stays in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You can in actually decide the chip with the pin in, or approach... I mean, uh, excuse me, decide the approach with the pin out, or chip with the pin out, in the actual golf IRL, but in the actual game, the video game, I mean, nope. It just does what you want. I mean, what, what you don't want, excuse me. Like, if I was on the green, and I was playing by the new rules of golf where you could leave the pin in, and I had this heavy slope to deal with, I would most certainly be putting with the pin in, but... <laughs> Alright, my strategy again, as I said, is going to be to play behind the... Well, I should say around the hole as close as I can, and then putt with the pin in, but... It just stopped. <laughs> I don't know why it stopped, but it stopped. But I'll take it. It's a birdie. I think it would have been a birdie even if I was off the green, because I would have just jammed it in there. Alright. We're back. To this hole. My nemesis of all nemesis. Hmm. 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 <laughs> just please stop somewhere close. Oh god, the heavy... <laughs> I thought that the heavy slope would have counteracted my my draw, but no, but no, not too much to putt through this time. Wait, or is it? That actually might be just fine, as long as I aim a little bit to the right of the hole. Let's try it. Just max it out. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, is this turning out so good? Alright, so this is the one that I can no longer use the skimming woods to get across for the major shortcut on. So we're actually going to be playing this one normally for once. I can't believe it! Wait, is there any... Oh, jeez! I can't reach the fairway! <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, I gotta straighten this out to get through the trees as best I can. And maybe... Maybe... The cart path will give me a little extra roll? No, no. <laughs> so, how is this one played then if you don't have the skimming woods normally? You just go f go for this ex incredibly far patch of fairway and then go for the green? But you have to have a tremendous drive distance to actually get there, so... Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta play it to there because the trees are in my way. For a more direct shot to the green, and the rougher probably mess with my shot anyway. Oh, geez, really? It didn't even make it to the fairway? Well, can I make it to the green? Yeah, maybe. Uh, play club? Uh, maybe. Wait, actually, I should probably go for as much roll as I can here. 
and maybe some more draw curvature so I can get it to curve around the death and let her fly <laughs> it's pinballed right back to the water yeah I remember the pumpkins are very very bouncy in here I think IRL the ball will just stick in the pumpkin or destroy the pumpkin because they're not that bouncy in comparison but over here they're like bumpers on a pinball table all right, the slope I anticipate is gonna make it go. Wow, I made it go really far. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. I thought the wind was gonna pull it back more, and then the slope was gonna roll it more towards the green. But no, uh, it was just it just flew further than I thought. Uh, I guess I'll try the mega putt again. Does it worked before. <laughs> it worked again. <laughs> Double bogey, but I'm still under par. <laughs> that, was, that hole is kind of. Kinda on the ridiculous side if you're not using the skimming woods, come to think of it. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's all for this part, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, when we go to Snowtown.